Hello and welcome to Lanzarote. Today you join me on board Motor Yacht Astra, a truly incredible explorer yacht. I've just finished filming the footage for my main channel, Yacht Boy, which is a full tour aboard this amazing boat. What I want to do in this video is just show you around some of my favorite features on board. So if you want to see the full yacht tour, remember to check out my other channel, Yacht Boy. I'll leave a link for that channel in the comments below. But let's take you around and just show you informally some of the features on this boat, which I absolutely love. You know, one of the first things I have to mention is just look at the size of the gunnels on this hull. You can just imagine crashing through some really big waves if you have to work out here for whatever reason, but still being protected thanks to the height of the hull. Also like the fact you've got some access doors, one over here on the port side, uh, another one on the starboard side, and look at the size of this crane. I guess if you were operating this boat in some sensitive areas, if anybody was thinking about boarding the boat, from a distance they might see this and think, actually, could that be some sort of weapon let's stay back because one of the things about this boat is it's very commercial almost military style lines if you saw this boat on the horizon you wouldn't be sure whether it's a private motor yacht or some sort of coast guard vessel so chances are you'd probably hold off from boarding this another feature that i love is the fact that they've introduced this deck up here which allows you to walk around the entire wheelhouse uh, when this boat was operating as a search and rescue vessel uh, this wasn't here uh, so the owners had this built on really wide side decks really high bulwarks as well um, one of the things that you might notice is just how close the water line the actual deck is now this boat is supposed to operate in a way which means that when you've got waves breaking over the side here all of the water the surface water will quickly flow off back into the sea uh, right let's take you into the engine room in terms of boat decks i haven't seen many boat decks like this again you could fit two tenders up here quite easily now uh, you've got an escape hatch down into the engine compartments over here let's just take you inside now take you straight into the engine room if you're a big fan of engine rooms you're going to love what you're about to see in a moment the engine room on here is huge. Remember, this is a boat that is under 24 meters LOA. When you first come in here, if you're not familiar with engine rooms, you might think that that is the main engine, when in fact it's not, it's a generator. Look at the size of that. But here at the beating heart of this incredible vessel is this Mitsubishi engine. I mean, look at that. I'm not an engineer, but even I can appreciate the beauty of this engine. Everything on it is mechanical, nothing's electrical, so it means that in terms of redundancy, if you've got any problems, it's very easy to sort out. Uh, moving forward up here, got a heater and air conditioning unit there. Keeps it nice and cool when it's hot like today. I mean, it's 36 degrees today in Lanzarote, uh, but also it can blow warm air out as well. But yeah, just look at that engine absolutely unbelievable i can imagine if you're an engineer this is the sort of engine you dream about working on when this thing is fired up uh, it uses these two compressors uh, to charge the engine which will then enable it to fire up i'm not an engineer so you have to excuse my lack of uh, technical terminology um, my job on board warships and search and rescue vessels that I served on in the RNI wasn't engineering related uh, so you have to bear with me when I describe what I'm seeing from a mechanical point of view but yeah the headroom in here is really good you know I'm six foot four uh, and there's still quite a bit of space above me uh, I've got a hatch here as well which if you need to bring anything out or bring something into the engine room uh, you can just remove that hatch and do it also you know this boat is all about long distance autonomous voyages um, so if we come aft into the lazarette you see you've got a lathe here and all the tools that you need if you need to do any kind of basic machinery work uh, or repair work 
and check out those water type doors. Got an escape hatch up here and we go through into this compartment we got another escape hatch up there and not your usual steering setup but if you want to find out more uh, about the steering configuration on this boat then check out my main channel uh, Yacht Boy so yeah that's the engine room let me know what you think of it in the uh, comments below everything here is just so easy to access uh, it's got a CO2 fire suppression system in here all the tools neatly stowed away so yeah you can see why the engine room on this boat is one of my favorite features on board it's just uh it's just incredible uh, it really does remind me of the warships that uh, i served on not the main engine rooms obviously but some of the machinery compartments next let me take you up to the wheelhouse which is just incredible i've never seen a wheelhouse like it uh, if you want to know more about the accommodation and you want to see the tour in terms of the accommodation remember to check out the video on my main channel let's head up into the wheelhouse i've never seen so much equipment on a boat that is under 24 meters loa you've actually got three conning stations here uh, you've got one over on the port side obviously you've got your midships captain's position but you've also got one on the starboard side as well but yeah, just look at this. You've got your traditional paper chart here as a backup for your electronics. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six monitors here. A central island control station there as well. But look at all this equipment up here on the overhead. The grab rails up there for when the weather gets a bit gnarly. And this boat has been through some truly gnarly weather. More electronics over here. You see all the various systems even got a phone holder up there this is the sort of setup that i can imagine on a commercial boat you know i've never actually been on commercial ships only warships uh, but there's just so much equipment up here all the air conditioning vents you're definitely not going to overheat up here uh, when you're in the warmer climates another control station here for the towing equipment remember this boat was a search and rescue boat um, that's what it was designed for, that's what it was built for. So what you're seeing here is a reflection of that practicality, just the layout of everything and just how easy everything is to access. Um, yeah, truly phenomenal boat, really is unbelievable. I'm just gonna take you outside, give you a view of the boat deck and that massive crane. Look at the size of that, absolutely huge. Obviously you can fit two decent sized tenders on there as well. Massive searchlight on the aft section of the wheelhouse. And also you may have noticed if I look up at the radar mast, there's a blue light up there. If you wanna know what that blue light's for and why it's on there, then check out the main video on Yacht Boy. Again, I'll leave a link in the video description for that. But yeah, what an absolutely amazing boat. There are so many favorite features on here that I could spend all down here, but I thought you'd want to see the engine room and of course the wheelhouse don't forget to give this video a like please also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you on the next one